Okay, so this is starting to look pretty darn good. What I'm going to do now is actually create a new layer, fill it with black, and I'm going to use a filter called Zen Effects, which is made by, uh, well, actually, I'm going to use a filter called Lightning, which is made by Zen Effects. And this is just for fun. I don't know if this is going to work at all, but I want to throw this across the top. And we've got different controls here, arc thickness, jaggedness, branching. And uh, just going to throw this over the letters. And you can adjust all these things however you want. And hit OK. And there's your lightning. Now you're like, OK, that's nice, but everything's gone. It's all covered in black. But what we're going to do is go ahead and change this blend mode, which is very, very handy, to screen. That's lighten. That's screen. Lighten doesn't look too bad either, but we'll do screen for now. I want to move this lightning over so that it kind of complements the text. I think something kind of like that's cool. Now we have this uh, obvious line of light. So I'm going to create a layer mask. And set my opacity for, let's say, 30%. Make my brush size, I don't know, about 60. And just go in and create a more natural blend. Okay, now I think that's decent. So something kind of like that, 
kind of blends everything together a little bit better. A little bit too much. I'm going to bring the overlay layer down, I don't know, to about there. And the hue maybe down to about 75%. 78% starts to tie everything together a little bit better <clears throat> and go ahead and just merge these layers with a photo filter the levels the hue saturation I'm going to merge that with the photo layer and I'm going to duplicate that layer okay now that I have this uh, duplicated I'm going to apply a blur to that top layer and I'm going to do a surface blur And that's just going to kind of uh, clean things up a little bit. It almost creates a little bit more of a cartoony effect, which is more suitable, really, for this flyer. Don't want to go overboard, though. So maybe something like that. Radius and threshold of 10. And you could set that for a soft light. Um, so yeah, soft light, and I don't know, bring that down until it looks about right, 34%. I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm also gonna do one that's just normal, blending mode normal. And I'm going to set that one for, I'd say, 67%. Okay. So a couple other things I want to do real quick. Still a little bit too much blue on them. I'm going to bring that down to maybe 25%. Now on the lightning layer, what I would like to do is... Uh, Make it look like it's coming in and out of the letters instead of just sitting on top of them. Make it a little bit more interesting. Sure, why not? So let's increase the opacity of our brush to 100%. Actually, let's do more like uh, 40%. Let's just try to make that realistic going in and out of the letters. So you can see I'm just kind of painting it out of some letters so it looks like it's only overlaying certain layers. So that's a lot more of a subtle effect. Um, it's not so exaggerated. I think it gets a point across a little bit better.